Rats are a video game staple, commonly being hostile enemies that just keep getting in the player's way. Oh shit! A rat! They aren't always pesky varmints, however, and can sometimes even be important and complex characters. In this video, I want to take some of the most iconic video game rats and rank them using a tier list. Some of the rats in this list are playable characters, and the others are just your classic little guy. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin by looking at the rats from the Fallout series. They are only found in New California, so rats only actually appear in the first two Fallout games. They are hostile enemies, I like it, Kudji and are the very first enemy that the Vault Dweller, aka the player, encounters in Fallout 1. While these rats are cute little guys, they are also a complete pain in the ass to fight, so I might put these guys down at a D tier. Next up, we got the rats from the Dishonored series. Rats are pretty important in this series since they are the carriers of the Rat Plague, which is a huge part of the story during the first game. The Dishonored Rats are hostile and tend to travel in groups, also known as swarms. While these rats are hostile and have caused lots of harm, the player can actually get benefits from them, like how in both Dishonored 1 and 2, white rats can be eaten to restore mana. So I'm gonna put these guys at a B tier. The next rats on our list are the rats from Deus Ex. You'll probably recognize these little guys from the spinning rat memes. Rats in Deus Ex are neutral, which is rare for rats in video games, and they will even avoid the player to avoid being stepped on. I'm gonna put this rat in A tier, mostly because of the iconic rat model, but also because they're passive, unlike most of the others in this list. Let's shift gears and talk about a rat that actually walks and talks, and not just the critter that scurries around on the ground. Twitch the Plague Rat is a champion, or playable character, from League of Legends. In-game, he uses a crossbow and is known for being a sneaky little guy. I'd put Twitch at the B tier because I think he's pretty cool, and it's refreshing to see a rat actually being a hero and not just some pesky enemy for once. Moving along, we have Rats from the Elder Scrolls series. Rats appear in every mainline Elder Scrolls game, but in Skyrim, they are called Skeevers. Skeevers from Skyrim and rats from the other games are essentially the same. Skeevers are basically just big ol' rats. Elder Scrolls rats are hostile enemies and often appear in caves and sewers. I'm gonna put these rats and Skeevers at an A tier. Rats and Skeevers are pretty annoying, but also pretty weak. Plus, I love the way that the rats in Oblivion leap toward you. Next, we have one of my favorites on this list, Sims Rats. Rats only appear in The Sims 3 and 4. In The Sims 3, with the Pets Expansion Pack, you can have a pet rat when you purchase a terrarium and select the Stock a Terrarium option. In The Sims 4, with both the Cats and Dogs Expansion Pack and the My First Pet Stuff Pack, you can buy a rat in its own special cage. And you can even halt their aging by giving them the feet anti-aging treat. I think these rats are so adorable and I love how your sim interacts with them. Plus, I love that in The Sims 4, your rat can literally just travel to different places and bring back a postcard. For that, I'm gonna have to do the S tier. The RuneScape rats are up next. These critters are hostile enemies that can commonly be found in sewers and dungeons. They are one of the weakest enemies in RuneScape, but because of their small size, they can actually be kinda hard to click and defeat. The rat model here is amazing, but we do have to keep the annoyance factor in mind as well. C tier. In the iconic game Bad Rats, The Rat's Revenge, and its sequel Bad Rats Show, rats are used to solve puzzles to defeat the evil cats. Once again, it's really cool to see a game where you actually play, or I guess in this case, use, rats instead of just killing them. I'll put these guys at a C tier. Next, we have a childhood favorite of mine, the Webkins rats. There are actually two rat pets in Webkins, the Charming Rat and the Vampire Rat. 
The Charming Rat was released in 2013 as a virtual-only pet and its pet-specific item being a tricky magical blackboard and its pet-specific food being the enchanted cheese. Mmm. Wow. That is delicious. Finally. Some good fucking food. The Vampire Rat is a rare Webkin's pet, only usually appearing during some Halloween seasons. If you do manage to get this little guy, it comes with a cursed cottage and a spooky cheese plate. Since these are two different pets, I'll rank them separately. The Charming Rat is super adorable, and it makes me sad that it has never been the pet of the month. So I'm gonna put them at an A tier. Now the Vampire Rat definitely intrigues me, especially since it's so rare. I love the cute spooky design and the items this pet comes with. Although the Charming Rat is awesome, I'm going to put the Vampire Rat above it at the S tier. Next, we have the Scaredy Rats from Mario. These guys have appeared in numerous Mario games, but first appeared in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Scaredy Rats are enemies that can be defeated by jumping on them and crushing them to death, as you would with Goombas, of course. I adore the design for these rats. I think they're such spooky cuties. It's a shame they are enemies though, but all in all, I'm still gonna put them in A tier. Next up on our list are the Skaven from Warhammer. So Warhammer is a tabletop game, but there are lots of Warhammer video games that include Skaven, so I'm including them in this list. The Skaven are a race of big, humanoid rats known for being cruel and mischievous. They crush anyone, even their own kind, who gets in their way of conquering the mortal world. They create and use lots of technology, but this does backfire on them a lot. The Skaven are pretty badass, and once again, kudos to them for being interesting rat or rat-like characters. However, I do have to keep their absolute brutality in mind as well, so I'm thinking B tier for these little scamps. Well, I think that might be it for this video. Thanks for watching! Of course, we can't forget about the little guy in my own profile picture, the Halo Rat. The rats from Halo 3 are the most iconic thanks to all the memes that began with these two tweets. But rats also appear in Halo Reach and Halo Infinite. Rats in the Halo series are not hostile, but you can kill them. If you're an absolute monster, that is. These rats are just so perfect, the models are adorable, and they aren't hostile enemies for once. Although the Halo 3 rat meme is outdated, these memes will live on in my heart forever. Yeah, so I think it's totally fair to put these guys at god tier on the list. That's totally fair and balanced, right? Well, these are my video game rat rankings. Rats appear in so many different games, so I tried my best to pick some of my personal favorites and some that I think are iconic. If I missed your favorite video game rat, or if you disagree with me, feel free to comment down below and share your rankings. Rats, we're rats, we're the rats. We pray at night, we stalk at night, we're the rats. I'm the giant rat. That makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into.